Hello, welcome to learn a new work, an NMAF HMM speech enhancement method based on KL divergency. I'm Yang, and this work was completed in Audio Analyze Lab, Arbro University, and the Capitui. So, firstly, let's see the roadmap of this presentation. Firstly, I will give the background. After that, the motivation will be illustrated. The details where of proposed algorithm will be indicated in part three. After that, I will show our experimental results. Finally, I will draw the conclusions. So first, let's talk about the background. Nowadays, we are always surrounded by various noise, such as some bubble noise, factory noise, and so on. So the speech enhancement techniques were developed. The aim of speech enhancement is to remove the background noise from the noisy environment and improve the quality and intelligibility of noisy speech. Currently, the speech enhancement has achieved a wide range of applications, such as hearing aids, mobile communication, robot speech recognition, teleconferencing, and speech coding. So during the past decades, and the speech enhancement has attracted many researchers. So a wide range of speech enhancement algorithms were proposed. In general, the speech enhancement method can be divided into the supervised method and the unsupervised method. For the unsupervised method, it includes some signal space algorithm, MMEST meter, and some Wiener filtering based method. For the supervised method, there are some code book based methods, autoregressive heightened microphone model, and some DM based methods. It also includes some the NMF based method. And in this work, we propose a novel NMF based the supervised speech enhancement algorithm. So the motivation of this research includes the two part. Um, at first, the traditional NMF based speech enhancement method do not consider the temporary information of plain speech and the noise. So in this work, we want to use the temporary information for NMF. Additionally, we want to achieve the efficient online speech enhancement using the NF and the HMM. The highlight of this project includes that we use the sum of portion distribution as the state condition likelihood function for HM rather than the general KL general Gaussian model because the portion distribution can lead to KL divergency manual, and its parameter update rule is identical to the MU rule, and this can cause the efficient online speech enhancement. Additionally, in the online speech enhancement stage, we proposed a novel NMF-based MMSE estimator for online speech enhancement. So in the next part, I will illustrate the details of our algorithm. In this work, we can say to achieve speech enhancement in the active noisy environment. So the noisy signal model can be written as the equation one. And the equation two is it STFT format. And uh, in general, for the NF analyze, the magnitude of a signal V can be represented as the W multiple the H. And the three equation three shows this, pro, this process. And where the W donates the basis metric and the H donates the active metric. Based on KL divergency, the 
W and H can be estimated using the MU algorithm and which can be written as the equation um, four and equation five. After we estimate the W and the H, we can reconstruct the um, signal V. And additionally, in previous research, it has been proven that the NMF with KL divergence can be also motivated from the following probability model by using the portion distribution. Where the K is the number of basis metric and the CFN is Latin variable of CK for portion distribution. And by using the equation six and equation seven and combine the EM algorithm. The update of parameter H and W is identical to the, to the MU update rule for N5, which applies the KL divergence. And mm -hmm. next, I will indicate the HMM based signal model with KL divergence. Based on the equation six, and we propose model the clean speech SN using the HMM. So in our proposed method, the clean speech SN can be modeled as the equation 10, where XN is the heightened state. Additionally, the model also includes the initial state probability pi bar and the transfer transition probability metric A bar. And uh, the noise, and there is a similar model for noise. So finally, the noise speech model can be represented as uh, equation 11. From this equation, we can find that in our model, math method, yeah, there are more than one basis and active metric um, because we consider the temporary information. And in the offline training stage, the aim is find the pyramid set to maximize the likelihood function which is based on the KHMM and EM algorithm. And the complete data likelihood can be written as the equation 12. So by applying the EM algorithm, the model parameter update can be represented from the equation 13 to 16. Mm. We can find that in equation 15 and 16, the, the update rule is similar to the previous um, update, but uh, we include the lambda, which is calculated by using the forward and backward algorithm in HMM. For the, pi, for the update of pi bar and i a bar, it is the same as the traditional HM model. And in our model, there are more than one um, basis and active metrics. And in the online speech enhancement stage, we propose to combine the NMF and HMM model with MMD estimator for online speech enhancement. So finally, the enhanced signal can be written as the equation 18. And combined with the um, previous method, there is the weight omega in our proposed MMSE based on live speech enhancement estimate. The omega can be calculated by using the forward algorithm and uh, the uh, and uh, the posterior probability and the PN 
it can be written as the equation 21. By applying those equations, we are able to apply the, the enhanced speech by using equation 18. And so in that part, I will show you the experimental results. In this study, we use the TME database to train our clean speech model. And we use the noise 19.2 to train the noise model. And we just use the bubble F15 factory and the white noise to train our noise model. During the test stage, we're using the TME test, test set and random choosing 200 utterance to conduct the speech enhancement. And the four types of noise are added at three different SNR levels. And this is the details of some settings, which includes the sampling rate, frame length, frame shift, and the size of STFT. So, and this is the experimental result. In our experiments, there are two stages. At first, we will investigate effect of the number of clean state for the NMF model. In this experiment, the vector number of clean speech and the noise is fixed. Additionally, the state of noise is also fixed. And from this figure, we can find that our proposed method can achieve higher pass score than the traditional NMF because our method includes the more basis and active metrics. And additionally, we consider the temporary information using the HMF. And in the next stage in our instruments, the proposed algorithm is packed to be tested under more types of noise. And it includes uh, the more types of noise. And the way you use some reference methods, it includes the TMF, OMSA, SF, NMF, and the log MSE. And the average story test for all types noise and SNR is showing the this figure. We can find that our proposed method can outperform then some traditional method and it can out it can also outperform the NMF based uh, supervised method. And uh, this figure shows the um, shows the spectral comparisons. By comparing with other methods in our method can, can reserve the better harmonic structure, which can be shown in the black area. And also our method can also remove the more noise and it is in this blue area. And finally, as to, I will give the conclusions of this research. In this research, we propose an NMF HM based speech enhancement algorithm, which applies the sum of portion distribution, which leads to the KL divergency. And this is an efficient strategy to train our model and achieve the online speech enhancement. Additionally, we propose a novel NMF HM based MMST estimator to conduct the online speech enhancement. By experiments, we found that our method can achieve the higher pass and story score than the reference method. And our method can be also have the better performance. Thanks. And that part is the Q and questions. Thank you.